at this point, we shall be having the open forum. Uh, last week, we have posted a link by uh, CSPC official page where our students could send in their questions. Uh, here are the questions that were received via the link we have posted last week. First question, uh, Engineer Tanya Moore. Good day. Can you please emphasize the learning modalities such as the description and features of mode of learning, as well as the grading system. Also, the professors or instructors task and students task in line with their respective mode of learning. Thank you. Hey, good morning, once again, to each and everyone. Hello, sir. Narinig po ba ako? Okay na, okay na. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loud okay. and clear. Okay. Now, with regards to the learning modalities that will be applicable this incoming school year, first semester 2020-2021, we are going to adopt this scheme, the flexible learning modalities, wherein we will be utilizing internet connectivity for high, for medium, and for low types of learners, meaning it could be a blended type. For those students with the net connectivity that are high for some places, instructors will be considering, there will be a survey among the students in that subject, taking consideration the different types of learners, setting aside the different uh, connectivity scheme, say high internet connectivity, the medium connectivity, and the low connectivity. So the learning outcomes will be fair to each and of one, to each and everyone, meaning there will be a fair judgment on how the students will be rated according to its performance. So in terms of the professor's instructor's uh, task. So for that subject, the instructor will be the one facilitating. He will be responsible for the learning uh, outcomes of the students by using program instruction like modules or any mode of delivery that will be uh, made by your subject professor. Is that uh, okay already? for my answer. Can my program chair answer also, supporting my, you know, my, my explanation? Is any one of you will support my, you know, my, my explanation? I think, sir, you have already explained it well. If uh, in support to the uh, statement of our college dean, the, the faculty are already preparing all the needed modules to be uploaded to our uh, Leons, the respective okay. course sites for the different subjects. And also we are preparing a printable modules uh, to be given to those who are classified in the uh, low level uh, technology, those who don't have stable or intermittent internet connections. Okay. So Thank we you. are uh, getting ready for the blended learning, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, next question. I think this was already addressed. Uh, pero for the information na lang po siguro of everybody and for this to be explained clearer, uh, we will still shoot the question. Paano po yung walang internet connection? Okay. As being explained a while ago, there will be a printable materials that will be given to those students without the internet connectivity. Meaning, that material will be delivered to the different municipalities by having a MOA between the school and the municipality so that safety will always be observed among the students to stay at home. The parents could get that uh, material, instructional material, so that 
the students, lalo na kung mga bata-bata pa ang mga estudyante, will just stay in their homes. So, yung mga walang internet connection, don't you worry for that. Ano? Walang problema. We'll be providing you with that uh, modules or any form of program instruction to facilitate your learning uh, outcomes. So, walang problema. It will be uh, our responsibility, the responsibility of your faculty, of your advisor, or anyone in charge of that subject to facilitate the learning process of this. Okay? Thank okay, you, sir. Na? So, okay. Uh, I think hindi ko na po itatanong yung next question because it was already answered. Yung next question po kasi is, will you provide printed modules? So malinaw po, Dean already answered this, that printed modules will be provided. All right. I, 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 just, okay. yes. I just want to clarify. I just want to clarify. Okay. After screening the different students for high, medium, and low connectivity, if the students fall under low connectivity, meaning no internet access, so, providing them with the different printed uh, modules, the students will be the one paying that, ano, in terms of setup, uh, copy, and depending on libre. Libre na nga ang tuition fee. So, the students will be the one uh, paying the, the expenses that will be incurred in reproducing that uh, instructional material. Siguro malinaw na yan, ano? So, kayo ang magbabayad, yung mga estudyante. Alam ba, sampung estudyante ang na-identify sa isang section. So, the faculty in charge of that will be reproducing that instructional materials para for an easy access. Para hindi na mahirapan. Kasi kung isang kopya lang, baka kung saan mapunta yung material, may pangalan na yan. Papangalan na yan ng, ano, ng faculty. Alam ba, sampung estudyante. O, may mga pangalan na yan kung sino-sino ang kukuha niyan. Para alam kung kanino yan. Kasi kung isang copy lang, pagkatapos kinuha ng isa para mag-reproduce, hindi na matrace kung saan na napunta yung, ano, yung original copy. So, magkakaroon ng problema. Kaya, sa simula pa lang, dapat alam na ng instructor kung sino yung mga estudyante walang internet connectivity. Para naman, alam niya kung sino-sino ang mga dapat bigyan. Then, at the end of the semester, the faculty will collect or the students will be paying the corresponding amount. Siguro, it is just fair. O kaya, sila na mismo ang magpapaserox, depende sa kasunduan ng sudyante and the, and the faculty. Ako, sinasabi ko lang yung parang mas madali kung mayroon ng uh, materials, ibibigay na lang. Then whatever is the cost, then mag-usap na lang kung paano ang bayaran. Kasi napakahirap niyan. Pag nawala yung, ano, yung material, eh, we are studying in, remain, uh, in distant uh, arrangement. Mahirapan tayo niyan. Siguro, eh, since nabago tayo sa ganyang sistema, may, may mga trial and error pa yan. Don't expect us to be perfectly, uh, what do you call that? Yung sa pagpatupad yan. Hindi natin masasabing sa unang bugso niyan, magtatagumbay tayo kung ano ang uh, sistemang ating ipapatupad. Siguro, with the help of my program chairs and the faculty, we'll talk on that para ma maanuhan natin yan, magampanan ng maayos. Okay, sir. So, this will be arranged. I think, sir, di ba po tama yung, yung pagkakaintindi ko po na this is already an arrangement between students yes, yes. Na with low connectivity and uh, with the instructors or teachers. Oh, okay. Yung tungkol dun sa kung paano sa kanila makakarating yung printed modules. Okay, okay. Apo, basta po malinaw na yung, yung cost ng printing will be shouldered already by the uh, student. student. Okay. Sige po, malinaw po yun. Alright, next question. Some of the engineering students po kailangan ng laptop for AutoCAD. Eh, may iba pong students na wala or can't afford. Paano po sila? Madali lang naman po ang ganyan. Kasi 
tayo, pag nag-aaral tayo, dapat gumastos tayo. Wala na tayong tuition. You are lucky that you are accepted here at CSPC. Maswerte kayo. From among the thousands of students, kayo ang kinalad na makapasok dito. Walang tuition fee. So hindi pwedeng to continue studying, hindi pwedeng di tayo gumastos. Dapat, may mga ano dyan, may mga pwedeng hulugan. Pwedeng ano, ganyan muna, kung wala kang pambili ng cash talaga na laptop, pwedeng ano, may mga nag-offer dyan na hulugan na AutoCAD, na, na laptop for the AutoCAD subject. So ako, I stand for that. Hindi pwedeng ano, problema pa namin yan. Dapat ang mga sudyante, ang mga magulang, sila na ang bahalang punan, tugunan ang pangangailan ng mga sudyante. May harapan tayo niyan. Kumbaga, Dean Mar, yun na din yes, yung counterpart. Yeah, yun ang counterpart ng mga... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Opo, opo, opo sir. Of laptop or smartphones shall now be the counterpart of the parents and the students because of uh, the government's implementation ng free tuition. Yes po, sir. Oh, hindi naman pwede yes, po, na sir. Oh, walang kwan, walang uh, share yung yung estudyante at saka yung mga magulang in the education of their uh, children. Yes no? po, sir. Opo. Oh, Let it be uh, put on us as a uh, part of our burden because the education of your children is a partnership between the the home and the and the school diba? the parents yes. the teachers so on the part of the on the part of the parents uh, you also have to see to it that your your sons and daughters must have um the needed the needed uh, IT equipment to be able to uh, go through online teaching or the so-called flexible learning. There are many ways, sabi nga ni Dean Mar, na mayroon naman dyan mga hulog-hulugan. Especially yung mga studyante natin who are recipients of the TES. And that is other than, other than the free tuition, uh, a lot of students are recipients or grantees of the tertiary education subsidy where they receive uh, 20,000 per semester or 40,000. I yes, think, sir. Diba? And some yes, other sir. even uh, grantees or recipients of other scholarship. That is other than their being, um, that their entitlement for uh, a free tuition and miscellaneous. Remember, na wala man silang binabayaran, not even, not even a single cent upon enrollment, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, dapat yun naman yung pag-iipunan nila. Anyway, yung mga, yung may mga smartphones, well, they can be utilized for the purpose. Alam ko, ang dama, mas magaganda pa nga yung cellphone ng mga <laughs> ipunyante kesa sa atin. Mm -hmm. Oo, di ba? Okay, yes, sir. Sige, continue, mm -hmm. Dean Mar. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yan na po. Uh, uh, with the added uh, support by our president, yun na po yung magiging stand natin. For those students na wala talagang ano, wala talagang laptop, the parents could uh, uh, have it uh, look for a way to provide their students uh, for the procurement of that uh, laptop for the AutoCAD subjects. Siguro, hindi naman kabigatan yan sa mga magulang dahil Ang pag-aaral na talaga, kailangan mong ano, uh, gumastos o parang ano yan, investment yan for the future of your children. Hindi pwedeng ano, wala kang gagawin para uh, tugunan ang pangangailangan ng mga estudyante. Ako magulang din ako. Alam ko yung pangangailangan ng, pangangailangan ng aking mga anak. So dapat ganun din ang bawat isa. Wala nang ano, masyadong reklamo. Ganyan ang magiging... Uh, ga, uh, maging stand ng mga magulang na kung ano man ang kailangan ng mga estudyante sa school dapat talaga uh, dapat talaga uh, uh, bigyan natin ng pansin o hanapan natin ng solusyon hindi yung ano kaunting contribution kaunting gastos reklamo agad yung iba hindi ko naman nilalahat kasi may mga na-encounter akong ganyan eh 
uh, as the dean of the College of Engineering na kaunting contribution, kaunting gastos ng mga estudyante, eh, umaangal kagad yung mga magulang. Yung ibang magulang, eh, hindi ko naman nilalap. So, with this, siguro, I made myself clear with the support of our president na uh, kailangan talaga gawa ng para ng mga magulang. Okay, okay na po? Alright, so I think that was already addressed. Let us proceed to the next question. Paano kung yung ibang mga students ay hindi mga kapag online, makapag online, I think this is makapag online, dahil sa kahinaan at kakapusan ng pang-internet, may, may considerable ba magpasa? Or probably this means may consideration po ba magpasa ng requirements or assignments kahit late na? Or so in short, is there a consideration for those who will be passing or submitting their requirements na late? Yun po, ano pong take natin dito sa Okay. Actually nga, na, nasagot na yan kanina. For those students na may kakapusan uh, sa internet, di ba may hard copy, may IMs that will be provided in the different municipalities kung saan uh, nakatira yung mga sudyante. Siyempre, in that hard copy, mayroon ng ano doon, may mga gagawin na, may mga assignments na, program instruction na yon, sunod-sunod na yon. So, sa pagpasa naman, walang problema. Uh, ipipick up ng, ano, ng faculty kung saan man siya nakatira, kung talagang delikado ang uh, panahon, ang pagkakataon na mahirap ang pagkakataon na makapunta yung mga rito. So, the faculty will pick up that ano that um, performed task by the students para hindi walang daylan walang daylan yung mga estudyanteng uh, maka makasabit ng late kung late naman iwan ko siguro hindi siya gumagawa talaga ng obligasyon niya we are going to avoid this ano this uh, this uh, itong ganitong sistema na lagi na lang late, be responsible. Dapat ang mga estudyante, kung nag-aaral talaga, mag-aaral, sumagot ka agad ng mga dapat sagutan kasi may mga hard copy naman. Yung walang internet, oh, di ba sinabi namin kanina, walang walang problema. It will be fair. Yung nakakagawa online will just be treated uh, fairly to those, comparing to those uh, without the so-called uh, uh, internet active. Di ba? Eh, hindi pwedeng ano, hindi, hindi, hindi patas ang magiging laban yan. Dapat ang faculty alam naman yan na ito, may na ang internet dito sa lugar nila. Dapat bigyan ng pagkakataon na na makapag submit din siya ng uh, tama sa oras. Pero kung very late naman siguro, ewan ko, siguro may kaunting ano na yan, kaunting katamaran na yan. Kasi may, ano naman eh, hard copy ibibigay eh. So kahit walang internet, makakasagot siya. Makakasagot siya. May also add? Okay, yeah, so yes ma'am. Yes ma'am Arnie, yes po. So as previously mentioned by the Dean, Dean Radmarta Nyamor, so there will be a printed materials in a form of the modules which will be given to the faculty for those who don't have internet connectivity or gadgets. Now, these learning materials will be distributed and collected in identified pickup points on a specific date and time with assigned faculty per, faculty, uh, per municipality. So we had identified the schedule. So every Friday at 9 o'clock, it will be the delivery of the learning materials to the location. And at the same time, this is also the schedule for the pickup of the accomplished requirements. So there will be yes, a schedule. Yes, ma'am. That's all. Okay. Every Friday, nakalimutan ko kanina, every Friday yung pickup and yung submission. Oh, yes. Submission ng performed task. So walang problema sa submission ng, ano, ng requirements sa mga estudyante. Alright. So okay. siguro if ever na yung requirements late na masasubmit, probably it's already an internal arrangement between the instructor and yes, the student. Yes, yes, yes. 
Opo. Na siguro if ever na may late yung pag-submit ng requirements, magbigay yung student. I think it's fair enough na magbigay yung student ng valid reason kung yes, bakit yes. siya magsasubmit ng late. Kasi we can oh. always consider naman po eh. Oh. Keep in touch with the ano with the faculty. Eh pwede namang pakiusapan yung sir, hindi ako makakasubmit kasi ganito ganito. Eh wag ano, wag yung mag-presume na iko consider siya. May communication naman. Magsabi siya na mahirapan siyang makapag-submit on time. So it is just a matter of communication between the faculty and the students. Wag action yung estudyante na, na huli na. Dapat prior to that i-anticipate na na may mga kaku- may mga kakulangan siya, may mga problema siya. Eh siguro naman eh mababait naman ang faculty ng engineering. Eh, walang problema sa amin, mababait kami. We can consider uh, everything for the good of the students. All right, sir, thank you. Let's proceed to the next question. Kapag may Zoom meeting or any related app ang um, gagamitin, kailangan po ba nakasuot ng school uniform? Ah, hindi naman. It, not, it does not necessarily school uniform. Just wear proper apparel. Yung ano lang, yung kanais-nais, uh, formal, hindi yung ano, hindi yung kung ano lang suot, nakasando or nakashort, hindi pwede yan. Dapat uh, you dress uh, yung ayon sa appropriately. Yes. Dress uh, proper ano apparel in your uh, Zoom or any ano any meeting that will be conducted between you and the faculty. All right, sir. Thank you. Next question po. May mga lab activities po ba na ikakandak sa mga subject na required po ang laboratory? Uh, actually, ito ang problema namin. To tell you frankly, dito kami nahirapan kasi napag-uusapan namin to about conducting laboratory experiments or activities because it requires psychomotor skills of the students at the end of the lesson. Siguro, if time permits, we can divide the class into three or into four with same schedule. If it will be permitted, I will be... Uh, writing a letter to the vice president and to be approved by our president, uh, i-allow yung mga estudyante na mag-conduct ng actual laboratory activities dito para magkaroon ng hands-on. Pero if that will not be uh, feasible or it will not be allowed because of this uh, crisis, siguro may mga, ano, may mga recorded workshop activities. The faculty will be uh, downloading that or gawa siya ng mga recorded videos dito, walang problema yan. Malalaman nila, may mga simulation yan sa, sa, ano, sa, may mga application, may mga simulations. Ang alam ko, marami nang gumagawang faculty sa engineering uh, with that laboratory uh, activities. Kung talagang nahirapan, siguro gagawa tayo ng paraan. For now, uh, yan ang naisip kong solusyon na baka we can divide the class into three or four to avoid overcrowding, to avoid uh, the spread of that uh, virus. Kaya lang hindi natin pwedeng uh, palampasin ang ganyang pagkakataon na matuto yung mga sudyante. So I will, ano, I will think of that together with my program chairs sa engineering, sa mechanical, sa electrical, sa ECE, and sa ano yung hindi ko nasambit? Civil. Civil engineering. Civil engineering, mechanical, electronics, and electrical. So, lahat kami mag-uusap-usap niyan to address with this uh, uh, needs of the students. Don't you worry. Eh, hindi kami titigil. Napakahaba ng semester. Pag-aaralan natin yan. Lahat tayo biktima dito. Lahat tayo bago dito sa ganitong pagkakataon, sa ganitong sitwasyon. But engineering education will never stop. We will not stop to to address the needs of the students. Okay? Alright. So, kumbaga sir, gagawan talaga natin ng paraan yan. Gagawan namin ng paraan. Yes. Oh, tulong-tulong kami. Tulong-tulong tayo. 
Tulong-tulong uh, tayo. Oh. Okay. So, all right. Next question po. May open space or facility for learning po ba sa school aside po sa library? Kasi di ako makapag-aral ng mabuti dito sa bahay. Lalo na kung merong istorbo or unscheduled chores. Yan po sir. Napaka-common na sitwasyon or scenario. Uh, ay. In terms of that, napakarami na ng open space dito for learning. Kasi hindi nga inaallow yung estudyante na magpunta rito. Even classrooms, it can be used for learning. Kasi bakante lahat eh. Di ba? Kung papayagan kayo na makapunta rito, aside from the utilization of the library, you can use um, by seeking uh, permits the different uh, open spaces here at CSPC. Yes, so, yes. Uh, we, we can allow any of our students to uh, utilize or make use of any of the open spaces in, in the campus. There are so many nooks, no? Uh, yes, sir. Instance, doon sa mga first floor ng, uh, ng SEAS. So, oh, uh, open, open yun. Oh. Open Tama, yun. sir. Even Opo. mga classrooms. Mga classrooms. But we have to ensure that um, entry of students in, in the campus must be regulated. There should yes, be, should be um, proper, um, what do you call this? Yung, they have to seek for uh, permission, permission through, yes, the dean, no? through the dean and then yes, the, the VP. The dean and the VP. Okay? I'm leaving okay. that. To the uh, responsibility of the dean and the VP, okay? Hindi na sa level ng president. Sa okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, diba for that, ano? Okay. To observe the proper social distancing. Uh, anyway, our meeting today at 10 o'clock with uh, the chairperson, uh, Popoy De Vera. Actually, uh, we will be discussing the possibility of having this partial face-to-face, -face, no? Partial face-to-face. And I'll keep you posted uh, after we are done with, uh, with the meeting with the uh, chairperson of the Commission on Higher Education. Because okay. for low-risk low areas, and if we are considered as uh, part of the low-risk areas for COVID-19 uh, pandemic, then we might as well um, hold no? face to face, but on a very, no, very, um, very regulated uh, situation. So we just have to strategize, say, for example, uh, within the week, um, group of engineering students, then the following week, naman, the group of another students. Hindi natin pwedeng pagsabay sabayan kasi nga regulated face to face classroom instruction especially for those who have difficulty in uh, difficulty with internet connectivity okay yes sir so we will we will um, inform our students of any change in the uh, arrangements in the modality or in the platforms of the uh, teachers to be used no um in their respective education delivery. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. There are more questions here, sir Radmar. All right. Here's another one. Yes, yes. Sir, paano po mag -e exam yan, sir Radmar? Yan din ang problema namin. To avoid cheating. Kasi it's really hard to 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 give examination for online. So, siguro, it will just be treated uh, by us uh, with the program chairs and with the faculty kung paano talaga ang pagbibigay ng exam. To avoid cheating and to avoid uh, impartialities among students. Excuse me, Dean Radmar and VP Arnie and everyone. Permission to leave? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you so much, sir. Thank you yes, so sir. much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, on uh, Popoy de Vera. Okay. Thank you. Kayo na muna bahala niya. Yes, sir. Thank you po. Uh, yes, sir. Maybe, ano, our program chair sa ECE, 
Ninja Risa could share for that ano kasi sila mga ECE ano sila eh uh, faculty magagaling sila sa ano sa expert sila sa ano sa sa technology Okay ma'am Jessa is it about the kind of, of the exam Yes 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 yes, yes. yes. Okay um actually we will, we will be having the uh, faculty meeting uh, this week and meeting also with our respective faculty by department and we will be discussing this uh, matter on how to conduct exams kasi sabi nga ni sir uh, to avoid cheating and to and to really measure yung knowledge ng estudyante dapat uh, personally ang, ang gusto ko is face to face uh, exam so but anyway sa meeting po pag-usapan po namin yan and we will uh, finalize ko ano po yung magiging action namin uh, for the conduct of the exam right thank you ma'am thank you all right let's proceed to the next question how will the scheme of implementation be harmonized with class schedule provided? Again, the question is, how will the scheme of implementation be harmonized with class schedule provided? What do you mean by, you know, by scheme? Uh, what is scheme? Regarding the, you know, the flexible learning yes, modality. Sir. Overall, sir, okay. I think so. Overall, okay. with a given class Overall. program. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. So just the same. We will stick on the schedule. The the students will be attending to the different uh, schedules given by them for that particular courses. So no matter what happened yun ang susundin nilang uh, schedule. So, stick to that and other uh, things relating to their uh, studies will not be affected by just uh, sticking to that, ano, to that schedule. Whatever is the schedule given, so, siguro, in that way, Kung may mga problemang mangyayari along the way, to avoid such a problem, yung mga faculty, hindi sila pwedeng mag-divert kung ano man ang schedule na ibibigay sa kanila. Doon lang, para kung alimbawa, there will be a face-to-face -face classes that will be permitted. So kung anong schedule na nakalagay doon, doon lang, ano, walang, walang problemang mangyayari dyan. Kahit sila magka... Mag, dumagsa rito, hindi affected yung schedule nila to other schedule. Because utilizing that schedule will not be affected no matter what happens. Okay. Alright. Uh, anything more to add, Ma'am Riza? Kasi po, meron pa ditong dalawang questions but these are already addressed about modules, kung printed po ba, or PDF. Right? I think it's both. Depende po. And then, yung isa pang question is, kanino po kukunin ang module? sa at kanino? This has been already answered earlier in the open forum. Alright? So, additional inputs po, sir, before we end your uh, time for this orientation to give way to the next department po. Okay. Now, for everyone, for freshmen and for upperclassmen, we are really facing these uh, hard times you know, in your learning. Uh, now, with this, uh, kindly help one another, support us, and I, we will be supporting you along the way, no matter what happens. Sama-sama tayong lahat with our program chairs, your faculty, your advisors. Uh, hindi pwedeng, ano, hindi tayo magkainintindihan. Kung ano man ang problema ang may encounter natin, feel free to visit my office or just text me or send any message, email or whatever. Wag ninyong ano, wag ninyong palampasin ang pagkakataon. Pero dapat 
observe proper uh, protocols. Dito muna, in our end, to settle that matters. Hindi pwedeng uh, lumabas pa sa school kasi parang ano, parang wala kaming silbi niyan. Kung may problema, hindi, hindi pa namin alam, pero yung iba, alam na. Now, I know students are too reactive kung ano man ang na-encounter nila, may mga problema sa faculty, hindi sila nagkakainintindihan, sa iba kaagad pinaparating. Dapat, in our end, masettle muna yan. Hindi pwedeng, ano, hindi pwedeng uh, lalabas kayo sa, sa, sa corner ng school or in our environment na doon niyo sasabihin ang problema. Dapat, dito pa lang sa amin, masettle na natin yan. Para naman hindi tayo ano magkaroon ng problema as we pursue as we go on with our dreams of achieving a globally competitive graduates of Camarillo Polytechnic Colleges soon to be Polytechnic State University of Bicol. Thank you very much. Siguro uh, yung mga kasamaan ko baka mayroon pang piling idagdag. Uh, they can share also. Ayan, tama po, Sir Radmar. That's a good point na sinabi niyo po na whatever problems na ma-encounter ng students natin, I think this, uh, let this be an appeal to all our students, whether bago or yung mga dati na nating students, na kapag may problema, i-direct sa authorities, sa proper authorities, yung problema. Right? Let us not uh, sensationalize problems on social media. Yes, yes. Yes, yes po. Uh, avoid posting problems on social media kasi it yes, will yes. just worsen the problem. The problem will not be addressed in that way. So, i-direct yung problem kung saan siya dapat do or kanino yung kanino dapat i-adjust yung problem. Tama po yan, ma'am. Avoid posting problems. So, yes, tama yan. Okay. So, let that be a reminder to uh, for all our students para po sa ating lahat yung reminder na yun. Kasi in this time of uh, COVID-19 pandemic, let us help one another. Sabi nga, di ba, let us heal as one. So yes, there's yes. no healing in posting problems sa social media.